Hello everyone, welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. My name is Colleen. This is day 12 of the Animal Crossing challenge that I am currently doing. Uh, in this one, it is fairly easy. I am able to time travel, I'm able to go to Treasure Islands. I'm just trying to finish an island in 30 days. Now, if you are new here, welcome in. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you do end up enjoying yourself, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate that as well. While I am recording this, I am only two away from my current goal. Uh, so that would be just very amazing. I would really, really love that. Now, as you can see here, I was moving around one of the trees. I think I had mentioned in my previous episode that really tall tree was kind of bothering me. So I wanted to do a little bit of a smaller one so it wasn't blocking everything. And then I had also mentioned I had some ideas uh, for upgrading this tree house that I had already started building. And I wanted it to be a little bit more grand, a little bit more wonky, I, I think is the word that I chose. So hoping that I have accomplished that, but I am very pleased with what I ended up creating here. I realized I had some of the retro uh, transportation stops and those really came in handy as well. So as you can see, I did have to take out more of the cliff that was behind it so I could make room, but that's completely fine because I'm not 100% sold on what I'm going to be doing up there anyways. <laughs> now, I initially thought that I wouldn't have a custom design that would work for this, but it turns out that like pink rusty one is just absolutely perfect. I think it looks really, really cool, but what you will find out very shortly is the struggle that ensued when I was trying to put this on this cliff. I, uh, it sped up for you, but oh my goodness, it took me way too long. That being said, I do like the results, so I think it was worth it. So as you can see, I'm just trying to build out the left side and then with the uh, cutouts at the bottom, I'm trying to make it look like it's more built up, obviously. More like the inspiration photo that I included in yesterday's video, which I will put in right here as well. And I've really been loving that corrugated fencing. I've never used that one before, but it looks so good with this like this particular theme. So just customizing some of the stickers that are on the back of the transportation stops. They're a little bit too matchy-matchy for my liking and I needed them, you know, to be a little bit different. Blanche just enjoying the build that I'm working on here. Now that being said, it was still a little bit too matchy-matchy for me. Uh, so shortly in the video, you will see when I move forward to the next day, I had ordered some extra storefronts. Uh, so that I could switch it out, make it a little bit different. Now a bit of custom code shopping as well. I realized I didn't have as many like pathing options as I wanted, specifically some sort of like steps or stones. Now I will have to try out some of these first, of course. Uh, the first one that I showed you didn't fully pan out, but it looks so cool. So. If you have a build that it would work with, I think it is a, a great choice. So now I'm just going to start laying some pathing, trying to fill out this area a little bit more because very clearly it is not fully decorated yet. So I'm really, really pleased with this stone design that I ended up finding. I was just trying to go through different ideas on Pinterest and this was one of the ones that came out. And I just, I love it. The varying colors of all of the different stones, the, the shadowing, it just, it looks so, so cool. Now, of course, I realized I have to bring over the swamp from the left into the, just where those other stilts are now. I don't really know what I would call that little nook area. So that is what I'm doing right now. And then of course I'll have to do that on the opposite side of the pathing too. So if you're not super into watching some pathing, uh, you can always skip ahead a little bit further 
see what the end of the build looks like because as you can see I do end up putting some decorations out too. Now I had been holding on to those lights for so long and then I finally remembered that I wanted to put them out. Kind of blocked myself in for a second but hey figured it out it's fine. I will say using this particular path is like really, really easy. The way that it's set up, it's just, it all matches so perfectly. So it's very forgiving. Now moving along to the next day, as you can probably tell here, I wanted to pick up my storefronts and I had also ordered some symbol panels so that I could put those behind the open spaces. Like when you turn these storefronts to the side, it just made this treehouse look a little bit too airy. <laughs> and I wanted it to look more of like an actual build. So that is why I got some of those. As you can see, like I mentioned, just kind of alternating the storefronts as well. And just closing up that space, which I think it looks a lot nicer that way. I had done that on the lower levels already, but I ran out of simple panels, so. This is a bit of a look at what we've got going on here. It's not the best shot because obviously it's raining and I think I'm a little bit too far away to get a really in focus picture uh, from that point. But you'll see once I get closer to the end of the video, I do end up building up that cliff as well, bringing it forward just a little bit. Uh, so I do think that ended up helping. But for now, we will move Tad's house that was also in the game plan today. I realized I have not moved nearly, nearly enough of the villagers homes into where they should be. Makes it a little bit difficult to plan out the island, so. Very worrisome, Kyle. Very worrisome. I am worried about you. You need to be careful. So I did move forward to the next day so I could start decorating this little cliff for him. I will end up needing to put in a little incline as well. He seems a little bit stuck, which I know isn't necessarily true because they will just sort of spawn in other areas of the island. Uh, but when I first came out of my home and I just saw him <laughs> sitting up here just all alone, it made me feel a little bit bad. So we do end up setting that up for our friend. Got myself a little bit stuck, but I did figure that out as well. Now I just wanted it to be kind of green up here. That's what I ended up going with. Matches him, matches the theme. I forgot to press save in between the last two, so I apologize for the very like large jump in progress there, but I must have been in the zone or something. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. I'm not really sure why I ended up going with the white plank ramp, uh, but it just felt a little bit more fitting for leading up to Tad's home. And I am thinking for tomorrow as well, I'm probably just going to try to figure out the layout of the island a little bit better, place some homes, you know, that sort of thing. Now when we get to the end of the video, I do have a better photo of the treehouse build. Uh, so while I'm just building up this cliff here, I wanted to take a moment to thank everyone for watching this video. Thank you for checking it out. Thank you for sticking around to the end of it. I really, really appreciate you for doing that. And as always, I hope that everybody has a wonderful day.